I'm one of those that likes to read the end of the book before I read the whole book and make sure it's worth my time. <laughs> and so I'm going to tell you the end of the book, the beginning and the end, and then we'll fill in the blanks. And there has been two significant health um, things that I have experienced in my life, one positive and one negative. The first negative was when I was about 14 years old, I had mononucleosis and that's the Epstein-Barr virus. Um, that was a significant time in my life. And then hopping to the end, finding the patches was the second most important health thing in my life. So let's fill in the blanks a little bit. But um, at 14 years old, I got mono. It wasn't even fun. I didn't even get to kiss anybody for the mono. I just drank out of a, 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 a bottle, a Coke bottle. And there was a group of us that were drinking soda and I got mononucleosis. Um, Epstein-Barr virus is just a very notorious um, virus. And that became um, a serial chronic uh, autoimmune disease issues throughout the rest of my life. So when I was in my younger 20s, I ended up with Bell's palsy. And that's something you typically see with older people. And so half my face went um, pretty flat and I couldn't move half my face. And that probably took about three or four months to get much better. There's a little teeny bit of paralysis from that, but um, that was good that was able to go away. Shortly after that, in my mid twenties, I found out that I had endometriosis. And the hardest thing about endometriosis was at that time, so you know, think back 40 years ago, they didn't really know very well how to deal with that. So we tried some different interventions and the bottom line was within just a couple of years, when I was 28 years old, I had a complete hysterectomy. So while my girlfriends were having babies and um, starting their families, I was having hot flashes and in menopause. So that was um, very difficult. And that, you know, it, was, it took a long time to get past that. Unfortunately, I got more autoimmune diseases and by the time I was in my mid fifties, I had had six autoimmune diseases um, and I'd had five whiplashes on my neck, a horseback riding accident, a water ski accident and three car accidents, none of which were my fault, by the way. Um, and so my neck was uh, severely challenged and then my low back as well had a ruptured disc in my low back. So lots of, lots of issues. So by the time I was in my mid fifties, I was thinking, okay, again, it can't get worse than this. Um, unfortunately, it did. And I was diagnosed with my seventh autoimmune disease, which was Hashimoto's. Hashimoto's has to do with the thyroid. And so it was um, about that time, I just figured, okay, game on. I, I've got to figure this out. I've got to figure out how to deal with it. Um, over the years, I had used the standard medication and uh, gone to doctor after doctor and tried different medications and MRIs and this and that to figure out what was going on and to try to get some relief, but nothing really worked. So when I had uh, was diagnosed with Hashimoto's, I completely changed my lifestyle, went vegan, um, exercised differently, lost 50 pounds fairly quickly, and worked really, really hard at doing everything that I could, everything that was under my control to get healthy again. And about nine or 10 months later, when I was feeling pretty good and thinking, okay, we were you know, making great progress, then I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. So the, the um, cure for thyroid cancer in that particular case was to remove half my thyroid, which I thought, okay, we'll just get it done, get rid of the cancer and then move on. Um, but unfortunately that was not the case at all. Um, after I had the thyroid cancer, things got worse, even though I was doing everything that I could to try to help my body and try to heal my body. I just, I just couldn't get any better. I had brain fog. I had the symptoms that I had had before um, came back with a flare and even joint pain and, and several other things. It was so difficult that I even had a hard time working and I love my work. I, I've done marketing and was working for a nonprofit and was traveling, um, working with orphan children around the world, which was pretty amazing. And I love my work, but I was having such a hard time. I had a hard time even working. So I ended up stopping working and um, doing some freelance writing and whatnot, but, but just not fulfilled. And I just couldn't think clearly to really do that kind of work even. 
So that was, that's kind of where I figured that, okay, after about five years, it's probably going to be the rest of my life. I, I couldn't see my way clear. Um, unfortunately, my husband got um, prostate cancer and he's always been super healthy. And so this was a huge blow to us that he got prostate cancer. And so again, I was just kind of renewed and saying, all right, we've got to figure this out. I know that we need to do some treatment. Um, and so we did do some treatment, tried to do as much holistic as we could, but we knew that his cancer was very aggressive. So we had to do something. Um, we had to make some changes and he did end up having pinpointed radiation. Through that, my very good friend, Deborah Wick, introduced me to patches. And so she, she gave me this little patch this, you know, one time when I was visiting her and I just looked at the patch and said, and how is that going to help us? <laughs> I mean, I didn't think that a little Band-Aid was going to be able to help us in any way. And I had tried everything, honestly. You know, I'd, I'd worked so much on my health and with um, supplements and with homeopathy and with um, herbal things, I tried everything. So I thought I just couldn't imagine a Band-Aid doing anything any better. But I was willing to give it a shot. And David was in the middle of his radiation treatment. So he wasn't able to do the patches at that time. So I started on the patches, not expecting anything and expecting fully to be disappointed, but I was ready to try. Um, and about three days later, I slept through the night, which was shocking to me and felt rested in the morning. And that was so exciting. Um, about three weeks later, and this was a complete surprise. Again, I had struggled with um, acid reflux for probably, oh gosh, I don't know, 20, 30 years. And I have four brothers and all of my brothers have it. Um, and so after three weeks, I went to bed, I laid down and usually every night, even if I ate at four o'clock in the afternoon, my stomach would hurt. Um, one night I laid down and there was no stomach pain. And I just was like, what is going on? This is so unusual. I, I, I don't know what's happening. Can't be that patch. It can't be the Band-Aid. My homeopathy must be working really well. So that was great. And then probably about a month, a month and a half later, my energy started coming back and my brain started to clear a little bit. And by three months, I was just shocked because I had some hair growth. I had always with the thyroid issues, um, my hair started falling out. And so I started having hair growth and I'm thinking, what in the world is going on? And when you see something like that, you say, okay, that can't be the supplements. I was on the supplements before. Okay. This has got to be the patches. I don't understand why it's working, but I'm really glad it is. So that was just amazing. Um, now I've been on the patches for about a year and again, just over and over, I'm feeling better. I'm feeling more energy. I know that autoimmune diseases heal very, very slowly. So I fully expected that I would be uh, using the patches for at least a year and a half or more before I would see everything settle down. But amazingly, already I'm in remission from everything, all of the autoimmune diseases, which is fantastic. My medication is stable for the first time since I had my thyroid um, and a half removed. So that's amazing. Joint pain is gone. Um, my back and my neck are much improved. And I do every once in a while have a little tweak in my back or neck, but the recovery time is so fast. That's what is shocking. So I might have a, you know, an issue, but instead of six months or four months or three months of chiropractic and, you know, doing all kinds of things, it's a week or um, 10 days or something. And my, my back or neck is feeling better and I'm feeling more functional again. So it pretty much uh, changed my life. And now I feel um, like I have a future again. I'm able to work. Um, and I was so excited about the patches. I started sharing the information about patches and lo and behold, um, people started getting healthier. And I was able to pay for my patches. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I mean, I'm doing what I love. And, and the company is reward, rewarding me for, do that, for doing that. So that's amazing. And then David's recovery, super happy to report that he went back for his six month. And his six month review was that there's no cancer. And I don't attribute the patches to that. But what I do attribute the patches to is a complete recovery 
and faster than what they expected. He is a building contractor and he's back on the job and he's, he's working and he's building and he's just doing amazingly well with the energy, just almost as good as what he had before. So I'd say he's like 95% back. So that's amazing. And that's all because of the patches. So it's amazing.